Today we are looking at Nomos and its by now iconic Tangente, the Tangente reference 139 to be exact. Bauhaus on your wrist, a timeless watch with an in-house caliber from an independent manufacturer based in Germany. This is a watch that simply has no equals. The watch we are talking about is a true classic, the Nomos Tangente, a classic indeed, as it's more than a quarter of a century old already. The Tangente we are looking at in particular is the 35mm version with the display case back. This watch is very German, very Bauhaus in its design. Everything essential is present, everything else is not. Let's dive into the detail to see why this is a phenomenal watch indeed. The dial is not plain white and has a hint of silver in there. It is in fact galvanized steel that has been silver plated. The Arabic numerals are crisp and highly legible with a nicely balanced subdial at 6 o'clock. Looking closely at the dial reveals subtle texture differences between the dial and the subdial. Depending on the light, the watch also reveals another fan favorite, the blued steel hands. As you can see, they are very nicely finished and provide a nice contrast and a touch of color. The blue is not painted but achieved the traditional and painstaking way by heating the hands to 290 degrees Celsius. As a result, the dial provides ample visual intrigue. The beating heart of the Tangente is Nomos's in-house Alpha caliber. It provides a modest 43-hour power reserve and is a manual wind movement. Note that the Tangente exists in various sizes and also with an automatic movement. Plenty of choice here for everyone. For your viewing pleasure we have the Tangente with the display case back. I would highly, highly, highly advise anyone looking at the Tangente to spend the extra euros and go for the display case back. The in-house movement is a beauty as you can see. Gone is the strict minimalism and lack of decorations. Here it seems Nomos wisely rebels against the strict Bauhaus principles and delivers a beautifully finished caliber. The Glashütte ribbing plays very nicely with the light, the screws are polished blue steel and contrast very nicely on the rhodium plated backdrop. There is more, look closely at the wheels and you will see the sunburst decoration reveal itself. The Alpha caliber does not currently feature Nomos's swing system, perhaps in the future. It is a proven workhorse and also not expensive to service. Value for money and a great looking movement as well. Most watches tend to wear large. They wear much larger than most other watches. The reason is simply that these watches are all dial with a very small bezel. Other sizes are available so do give these a try before you buy. They are very different from most watches out there. Very slim, very particular case and lock design so the key message here really is try before you buy. The Tangente lock design is very thin and quite long compared to most other locks out there. The case is about as minimalistic as it can get with no excessive curves or decoration. The watch is thin, very thin and a hair less than 7 mm, 6.7 mm to be exact. As a result the watch wears very light and very comfortable. The Tangente is really a great choice for a first series watch and in fact also a great choice for a last or only series watch. You're getting a ton of value for money which as far as I'm concerned is not available anywhere outside Nomos. High quality, in-house made, beautiful finishing, independent brand and of course that iconic design that'll last a lifetime. 
This is an easy choice.